guys. I'm so really tired. Just came down to get my camera. I don't know if Jason's trying to get bonus points today. <laughs> Just kidding. He made me toast and brought it up to me in bed. He was going to make some eggs, but I have a really bad aversion to eggs right now. I don't know if it's my medicine or he's in the shower. I just cut his hair. So we'll see what his hair looks like when he gets out. But he just made me toast, which I don't really want to eat it up here because <laughs> I'm going to do my hair and makeup. But he also started to, well, we'll go in here real quick. Well, I can't. That's where I cut his hair. He's going to shower real quick. Then he's going to vacuum again. There's another bonus. But he's also going to clean out his closet. He already started yesterday. He did like one section, he said. So we'll see how much he gathers up. I'm not forcing him to throw things away. I just know that there's things in there that he doesn't need anymore. He doesn't wear anymore. Or he shouldn't wear anymore. If you catch my drift. Um, so he's got one bag so far. We'll see if he adds to it. Um, but I'm going to get ready for the day, actually put makeup on, I think, because we're going to go out tonight with some friends, and so I figured, a, it's nothing fancy, we're just going to go to teriyaki and that sushi place. So I just want to, like, be ready for the day. So we're just going to do my makeup really quick, but, um, we'll see how much he gets rid of. Um, I didn't film yesterday, I had a hard day yesterday listen to a really hard podcast <laughs> related a little too much to my wife on purpose like I purposely listened to it and then Jason listened to it last night and we were up till probably one in the morning talking about it so and we talked about it with our girls I'm not going to say what it is or the topic because it's extremely personal but it just meant that I cried a lot yesterday morning and so then I went and did some retail therapy at Old Navy and <laughs> I went in crying. I literally had like mascara on my cheek. I had been crying, um, even like driving over there. Um, and so <laughs> I went into Old Navy, which isn't that expensive anyway, but I haven't bought a new pair of jeans in at least five years at like Marshall's, but like going into like an actual store and buying them fresh from like a jean wall and being able to pick the exact style and size and fit and all that stuff. I haven't done that in over a decade, if, if not longer than that. So I went in, I don't even care. I don't care the cost. I'm just gonna get with it. If it feels good on me, I'm gonna get it, right? And I found a pair that I kind of, that I liked the style wise, but I still felt really insecure in my belly because it really showed like my lines in my belly. And I was like, but it fits. And like, I just need to like be okay with my belly showing. Anyway, but they were 50 bucks. And so I was like, and for some of you, that's not a lot of money, but I just don't spend that much. I'm a $10 t-shirt kind of gal. <laughs> so literally I got this one at Old, Old Navy. So I got this one and a tank top and the jeans. And I circled around to the clearance section and I was like, okay, what are the chances they're going to have my size, the color, the fit, the style, the mommy tuck-in area, all in the style that I want, right? And this, all of it together. Went into the size section. Hmm, that one might work. That one might work. So I started pulling some out. Went and tried them on. Two. Two of them worked. The one I'm wearing right now, uh, it was not even six dollars it was on clearance and they did an extra 30 percent off clearance so it was not even six dollars at it was like 538 no joke five dollars and 38 cents the second pair that i got was not even twelve dollars it was like 11.76 or something like that after the 30 percent off so i got two pairs of pants for 20 bucks not even 20 bucks like 18 dollars <laughs> i did good and they look good so i was very proud of myself um and uh, always take a look at those clearance sections. So we're gonna get him out. We'll take a look at his haircut and how much he can gather up from the closet. Um, I actually found some more sheets and a few more shirts that I've decided to get rid of. Oh, you wanna come show your haircut? Sure, I don't know if you'll be able to see anything, but 
It's less shaggy. Less shaggy. Look better with short hair, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Leave your comment below. <laughs> it just gets you too do look puffy. better. Yeah. It's puffy. It makes my face look different, and yeah, I dislike it. No, I like it short. And the ladies at the hair salon, when you used to go get it cut short, they liked you short as well. Yes. But they would do it just barely, not quite cut enough so that he had to come in more often. Oh yeah, no, they. They know I mean, how to do on. it. Yeah. And I would go in with him and I'm like, no, cut more. And like, no, no, honey, no. And I was like, okay, then I'm going to learn how. Well, that's because they wanted me to come back Every one three extra weeks. week early. And I know. Like another month or two of right. haircuts. Uh, we learned, we changed it in COVID. Right, right. I learned that's how to do it in COVID. We bought a razor and changed. Yep. So we're going to let him vacuum and then we'll see how much you gather from your closet. You oh, have a bag so far. Is that what we're doing now? Well, while we're up here, we might as well just finish it. <laughs> no, because we have to go count the bags. This isn't just about me, like, writing you. <laughs> what did you just say? I'm going to get rid of my old Navy shirt. This is actually monumentous. Why is the old Navy shirt so special? I don't know. Had it for a long time. No, where have you worn this same old? No, no, you're thinking of Utah State. You've worn the old Navy one before, though. You didn't wear the Utah State one every single time. For our children, yeah. children's births, we're talking about. Yeah. Or is it the old Navy? It's, no, it's the Utah State. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That then there's no reason to keep that. I know. Okay. I'm keeping the. Yeah. It's for the children. <laughs> but you are. Do you have the Utah State one still? Yeah. We'll show them now that we've ex said that. Oh, they can go back. I think we've talked about it before, but I don't so know if I have photos. I wore this to Kaylee's birth, and because it was one of my casual shirts, and he's a repetitive guy. I wore it to Abby's birth, and then when we realized he was maybe I wore it to Chelsea's. Anyway, but then it became tradition. Hold it up one more time. But uh, the problem is, is when you have pictures of me in the hospital, you don't know which kid it is because I'm literally wearing the same shirt and they all looked very all similar so it's like yeah it's hard to tell the kids pictures apart but anyways this one's the keeper okay so that bag is almost full so that's good and you're folding up your t-shirts from that top shelf i just have this to do i don't have a lot to throw out I could what about the whole bottom rack i already went through it really <laughs> yes that's like all those extra pairs of uh um whatever like cozy pants i got rid of them okay I kept one or two all right everybody needs to be cozy well yeah i don't have a problem with that but you do like this style now like the ones you have on right now you like this that this is this is a man's version of leggings and where were we oh shane has the same pair yes. we went to a game night the other night and um and they were like oh you have the same pants on special <laughs> All right, I have gotten ready, stolen one of Jason's little jackets. I normally can't fit in his clothes because these ladies <laughs> couldn't fit in them, but now I can, and I'll show you my jeans. Maybe I will, I need the light, so I don't know if I can get far enough away. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get far enough away. I don't know, let me see, I can't, I can't show you the light with the light going the other direction, so let's see if I can, I don't know. They're nothing fancy. But, you know, they're nice and they fit. Um, hopefully this toast isn't all dry now, but we're listening to another podcast. So, see what Jason did in here. He's already downstairs. Okay, it is cleared out for sure. I don't know why he didn't. This is all like um, snow gear, like climbing gear. So I, I get that he probably has to keep a lot of that. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't fold those better. How come he didn't fold the pants here in the corner? Are you sure that that's all gone through? Are you keeping all those? Yes. If it's there, I find pleasure in it. I know. I'm just wondering why he wouldn't <laughs> fold them after, like, making the closet the way it is. Anyway, you aren't going to keep... You don't wear this sweater. Well, no, just... It doesn't fit. It's, it's done. That one's nice. That one... You can keep that one. And now you have, like, your t-shirts where you can see them. And you know which ones. You're not going to wear that purple shirt, are you? I, I got it at... But you won't. 
He I likes mean, to I just wear. You never want me to no, like I don't. Don't blame me. I love how he plays these games. No. This is not about me. I bought I'll this. Wear it. No, I'll you wear won't. It this Sunday, if you want. This is not about me. I have never not wanted you to wear this. I bought it for I you. I haven't unfolded it. You are so full of I'll BS. You no. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. All right, you know that you are leading an exciting life as adults. When you go to Costco um, for three things, and this is actually all you end up getting, um, but you find out that they now sell blueberry bagel. We were so excited. We were like so excited and the guy's like, are you guys okay? But they've never ever sold blueberry bagels here. Like ever. I didn't even know they had them. I don't think they... Abby needs cream cheese for, um, hey I get a bag out, for cookies she made last night and they are cinnamon roll snickerdoodles. And they look amazing. But we also had like, didn't have a, like so many of the green ingredients. So we kept having to borrow them from our neighbors. <laughs> so now we need to go get more ingredients to replenish our neighbors and our own stash. And then give them some cookies for letting us borrow the ingredients. So anyway, nothing fancy. And we are not coming to Costco on Monday. No, we don't need to. We don't need to. Look at us, we're getting so efficient. We're coming three times a week. <laughs> well, no, we haven't been three times a week. I came yesterday. Why? Why did you come here yesterday? Because I got rolls for a funeral that I have to deliver today because I didn't want to come today. But then we needed all these other things and so we came back to get today. So that's our exciting life, you know. Um, but we're going to go to Target next. You know, I haven't actually gone to Target in like a week. I don't even know if I've gone this week, which is crazy. Well, we were sitting here, nice, calm, listening to a podcast together in the park after we ran our errands, and now... Did you know you can track the status hang on. of your claim and... Sorry about that. We're on hold with our insurance company for this car. Having issues because we've received a second... You don't want to make a call from State Farm Claim. Text... We're, we, we, we differ on the estimates that we submitted through Tesla versus what they view as um, what needs to be done to fix it from five photos of the outside of my car and they're claiming that a second payout is enough and we're about $1,000 off from the actual estimate basis versus what they've actually paid us. We're just getting a run around and then like, I don't know if they hung up on us, the call was still through and we just stopped being able to hear the agent and it's just so frustrating. So we're back online, back trying to call the agent. Insurance is just, it's hard. Anyway, so we're just now figuring that out. On a plus, I did pick up mail. I don't know where it went. Can you look in the back? Sure, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Do you, me, do you want me to use the honey bucket or do you want me to go over to the actual bathroom over there? Let's use that. Well, I don't know if there's actually a honey bucket right there. Um, I did receive um, some letters in the mail that I wanted to show you. Um, I don't know if I left them in here or if I already took them inside at home. Got them yesterday and opened them and then because it did, oh, hang on. Okay, second attempt at calling the insurance company we got put on hold or ignored or I don't know never hung up but we are on again with another claims agent who's it's actually looking actually, at our two estimates one from State Farm and one with Tesla and comparing the two and he's like looks like we say that it's gonna take less time to fix <laughs> which we can't make that de decision anyway so he's looking at that now um, this isn't how I wanted to spend an hour of our day, but got to get it fixed. Let me turn this down while he goes to look at that information. He's going to need a second. Um, but I was saying I got two um, letters in the mail. I'll show you when I get it home. One of them was a Christmas one, and I feel so bad. I can't remember who it was from because um, I kind of wanted to like open it on camera. So I kind of just glanced at it. Um, anyway, 
I don't, it was sent on like December 17th and I literally just barely got it yesterday. So I don't really know what the delay was. It literally has a postmark on it. So I don't know how it got so delayed, but thank you for sending it. Some of the trucks have gotten stuck in the past. We had some stuff delayed. It's a month and a half later. Mm, that's a little long. It's a little long. Probably got Anyway, but a, then I got another one from Patty. For, um, and, and it's a birthday card, but I'll open that one on camera as soon as I get home. Um, but it made me remember that I have all of my gift cards that I have gotten from you guys over the past, and I still haven't done my birthday, like, day, right? Like, where I go spend my gift cards and my birthday money or what whatnot. So today, when we were at Target, you want to help me hold this up, Jace? Grab, yep, yeah, nope, that corner right there. I picked this up at Target because I knew I had a gift card in my wallet. Um, and I got this cute little wrap and I have these kinds of sarongs um, that we've gotten in Hawaii But they're the long ones and this one has cute little tie um, Like that. There's just two little ties and it doesn't need to like completely cover me up because I'm just gonna be wearing that over my swimsuit um, And I wear little shorts anyway. I don't wear like it doesn't matter what size of swim shorts you, or, or regular swim bottoms you wear this it'll just be nice um, then sometimes I want um, to wear my shorts um, to walk back to hotel or whatever but if we want to just go get a light you know something to eat or whatever it'd be kind of nice to have a fancy little skirt so I just got that with one of my gift cards from you guys I didn't write on the gift cards who they're from going forward I'm gonna do that so that when I go and spend it I can give a shout out to you guys on here and thank you for that um, so it just was kind of extra and just know that like I'm trying to spend these things on like fun things for myself, not just like fair life from Target. <laughs> I want to like have it be like a nice little gift to myself from you guys. So we're going to sit here and wait for the agent to get back online with us. And it's a nice, somewhat nice day. It's not raining. So, and it's only 55 degrees outside, but I mean, if we go home, we're just going to sit and do this anyway. So um we're just gonna sit and enjoy this in the car maybe we'll well we can't listen to the podcast if we're listening if we're on hold so anyway this is what we're doing this is this is why blueberry bagels from costco are so exciting because this is the rest of our day yeah we're living life right we are when you have an agent he's not even an agent he's just a well he's, he's a claims, claims agent person, yeah person. finally ben Shout out to Ben at State Farm. <laughs> what is it? What is what is the guy from State Farm on the commercial? I have no idea. There's a guy. It, like it he, might be Ben. I don't know. It's like not. It could be ben, but but like. anyway, he literally could actually read our claim and read. Well, he put effort into doing he, it. He, yeah, he just put effort into actually like understanding the entire process. And he's like, oh, the claims adjuster car called Carlos at Tesla. And I'm like, yeah, I know Carlos. I've had many conversations with Carlos. He spoke with somebody else. He just, he like, just, he just did his research. It, did it, got information for us, helped us feel like we knew what was going on. Yeah. Explained it to us so it now makes sense. Yeah. And we're good. So, so the car's going to, yeah, they, and they're going to, they just agreed, okay, this doesn't need to get repaired, but maybe if it does, then we'll come back and we'll get, we'll pay out more if, if that needs to happen. So I feel good about it. The payment's going straight to Tesla, the second payment. So now I can officially go ahead and make my appointment to have every single repair fixed on this car. I can, I can say that for sure. Because my payment is going to Tesla, I can call Carlos, go ahead, let's fix everything and be done with this, all the damage. So are we going to sit here for longer and listen to the podcast? Whatever, dude. We have two or three hours um, until we need to go and do a few more things, and then we're going on a date night tonight with our friends, right? That's the plan. And uh, that'll be fun, very relaxing. We're just going to go to dinner and then go back to their house and hang out and talk so that's exactly what i need i'm kind of liking your little jacket this oh is... is that the one you got for me yeah did you even notice that i was you my, my lady is fitting it now <laughs> my lady's fitting it. i could have never fit in his shirt in his clothes before yeah i put it on i'm like oh look at that it is cozy i've worn it once or twice yeah he's I, just really into like into uh hoodies hoodies and sweatshirts and things you like guys that. make such a big deal about me wearing a hoodie that I'm like, and, oh, and now that you're into wearing them i literally can't find them for you i cannot find like he wants more i could order more from some of my vendors 
Do you always want to wear a vendor one or do not you want to? necessarily. I'm not really digging the thing on the back of this. I mean, it's a little I too know. much, but I'm sure We'll find one ones. in Hawaii for you. We actually looked in Hawaii in, in uh, Honolulu. They're pullover ones. They're not hoodie hoodies. Yeah, I like the zip up, which I wanted to wear today because it's just like hot, cold, hot, cold. But all right, we're going to listen to our podcast and we've solved our insurance problems. I hope all your problems are getting solved too out there in YouTube yeah. land. Well, they're in real life. All our people from YouTube land, yeah. It's, it's just... Yeah. Okay. All right, we just got home. We've been gone for a little bit longer. We had to go and get... Um, well, I'll just show you. We picked up, I think, 12 bags from my friend. <laughs> the whole car is filled. And we need to... So Jason moved his car out of the garage. We need to count. The place that we're taking these to, they have to have a tally of how much we're donating so they can estimate how big the truck needs to be when we drop it off. So we have to pull this all out. Plus, I need to bag up some of this stuff. Um, the textiles can't be in boxes like this. And so I need to bag that up. Um, so we have to count the black bags separately from the white bags because they're different sizes. And then count up how many boxes, like books, versus like home goods. So hopefully people have like separated the books. I can see this one right here has been. So anyway, it's a lot of work. We're hoping that we're at a hundred bags or we want so to get to a hundred bags. You want to sweep it? Okay. I should have shown it when we were had it all laid out, but we did get a tally. We have 54 of the white bags. They're going off of like gallon size. So we have six of the black bags, which are like twice what the white ones are. We have three boxes of books out here and two boxes of shoes, actually bags of shoes over here. But Jason actually just told me he has three more. One, two, three. I'm well, doing ones as tallies. They're a little bigger bags than that. Well, so whatever. So, he has three more bags of shoes at the store to donate. So we're trying to get our tally numbers to send in. The home goods stuff, there's one box here, and then I have two more inside, but I don't know if it's books or home goods. And then this stuff is in a bag, and it needs to be in a box. So I need to find um, an empty box and put it in there. But here is our final, well for right now, we just have to turn our numbers in. So 55, no, 54, 60, 6, 7, 8, 9, almost 70 bags, boxes donated so far. So we're doing pretty good. We want to get to 100. Um, I wanted to get to 100 bags. Ashley just wants to get to, this is a refill. Just use the same cup, put a refill in there. Be proud of me. Trying to save money and calories. It's Coke Zero from here at home. I now have only like a half hour until I need to leave and take those rolls right there to a funeral. The lady who passed away, passed away of heartbreak. She was like 85, probably, actually she's probably like 90 something. And her husband passed away about six months ago. Maybe not even that. And um, so she's like, I'm done. I've lived my life, I'm done. She wasn't really sick. She just couldn't really walk anymore. Um, but she's like, I'm done. And so she's passed away. Everyone's like, oh, good. She just was so lonely. So I'm going to go take, I'm not going to go to the funeral just because we have too many plans tonight. So those are staying in here. Get my bag back out so it's not just sitting in the car. And I think I'm parked probably pretty crazy here. Let me see if I can. Uh... Yeah, I can get away. I can get away with that parking job for a few minutes before I have to leave again. So we'll call it good. And I want to show you Abby's cookies. She's been in here frosting her cinnamon roll snickerdoodles. <laughs> so it's a snickerdoodle recipe rolled in cinnamon sugar topped with a cinnamon roll frosting, like a cream cheese frosting. So pretty amazing she's got them all <laughs> laid out I don't think this frosting is like gonna harden up so they're gonna stay here for a little while which is kind of annoying <laughs> but um, but it's okay we also got Ashley's snacks at Costco 
because she was like, I don't have anything for my lunches. So these are her snacks. She's gonna wanna eat them now, but they are for her lunches, which means she has to wait until next week. All right, I don't wanna show their addresses, but these are the two cards that I got. So this is the Christmas one that was sent clear back in December, so I'm not sure why it didn't get delivered until now. But I'll show you what it looks like. Come on, and who it's from. It is from Jennifer Box, AKA hashtag mama. You see her comments on the videos. Super cute card, it's like 3D. There's like layers to it. And then a cute little note inside. Merry Christmas, Brown family. I've really enjoyed the channel and learning about your sweet family. Hope 2024 brings you all the abundant blessings of good, healthy, peace, and love. Jennifer Box, AKA number one mama. And then this guy, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jennifer. And then this one is from Patty. They are the ones that we met here in Seattle when they were flying to Hawaii. So obviously we have something in common, our love of Hawaii. So this is a birthday card. Like I said, I've already looked at these, um, but I wanted to show them. So this is a cute birthday card and some little gift cards. So thank you. It's like I used one today and I get to replenish and have a new one. So I'll be, I will be buying something from Amazon and from Target for myself. And look how cute this is. It's such a cute little hibiscus flower with an actual little hummingbird. Can you see that right there? Super, super cute. And I don't know how to display this one up on my shelf, but I feel like I should. Maybe I should try and like lay it flat with a book or something to keep it like open a little bit more. Thank you, Patty. This is such a sweet message. Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Hope you had a wonderful day. These gift cards are for when you need a ladies day out for yourself. Enjoy my friend, your friend, Patty. So thank you, Patty. Well, that was a very sweet birthday gift. I'm going to try and figure out a way to display that. For now, we shall just kind of prop it up right up here so I can kind of see it. I'll figure out how to get it displayed differently. But super cute, super thoughtful, thank you. Also, my chair came, cover up the address. My chair came, but I have to leave, so we're gonna see if Jason does his workout and cool down, he said, could include putting my chair together. Check that out. <gasps> so pretty, for as much as it rains here, we don't normally get rainbows, because <laughs> we don't have a lot of sunshine to make a rainbow. At it. It's so pretty. And yes, I have to go slow right now because I'm going through a school zone. 